on what I still holding on to. I don't know where they're at, but they're here. They're here in Jackson, praise God. They're scattered abroad everywhere. People that once had what I'm holding on to, they gave it up. Amen. And God began to speak to me, and he began to show me, praise God, that Daniel was seeing these leaders and how they'd come to power, praise God, and how that one come with the eagles uh, uh, wing. I never, you know, I thought about dry, trying to draw a line with an eagle's wing on the back of it, and I thought that looked pretty stupid, don't you? How many know that looked pretty stupid, a lion with an eagle's wings? Huh? And a leopard with wings of a fowl. I think that things look awful stupid. And you know, I know that God allowed that to be written because it would look stupid in our eyes. That we would know that that wasn't the way it was. That we'd know as we read that, that is a really a messed up uh, Antichrist church. Praise God that's receiving all these powers and receiving all these things that seem to be God that are not God. And God told me, he said, there is a, there is a, uh, uh, a church upon this earth, praise God, that wants to live in the flesh, and preachers is going to let them live in the flesh. Praise God, they don't separate the spirit from the flesh. Hey, man, can you say amen? They say, okay, praise God, you can do this. I ain't going to tell I ain't gonna tell you what you can do or what you can't do. Everybody wants to know their own heart. Everybody wants to know God for themselves, but nobody wants to hear a leader. Nobody wants to hear a pastor, a prophet, a evangelist, a teacher. Amen. Everybody wants to know God, but they don't want to hear leadership. Everybody wants to lead for some reason. But if I didn't, if I had a choice, I'd be sitting right there listening to you. Hallelujah, but I'm thankful that he chose me and I'll fulfill his will till I die. I will do that. Amen. Hallelujah. And Daniel seen how the four winds was striving upon the people. And brother, I see it today throughout this whole earth. Throughout America and the foreign countries and everywhere in this whole earth, this thing is ruling and reigning. Hallelujah, a flesh church, an Ishmael church. Come on and say amen, an Esau church. Praise God. How many know what I'm talking about? An Esau church, an Ishmael church. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you one thing about a Ishmael. Praise God, he didn't belong there because he was a woman of the bondage. He wasn't a woman. I mean, he was a, he was a son of the bondage woman. Praise God. Isaac was going to be the son of the free woman. And thank God tonight I have that faith of the free woman. Is that right? I don't have the faith of, of Ishmael. Hallelujah. But there is a church out here covering the earth. Glory to God is a flesh church. Hallelujah. And it's going to take men and women of God like you and me to stand up. Praise God. If we have to go with five, we go with three, we go with ten, we go with twenty. It don't matter. Hold on to the truth. Don't give it up for nothing. Amen. No matter how long you go. I saw this bear and the Lord spoke to me concerning this bear he said everyone that says they want to live for me and they want to live in their flesh hallelujah are you listening to me he said this bear has been commanded to devour much flesh right I just read it to you. He rose up with the ribs between his teeth. Hallelujah. And he was commanded to devour much flesh. This bare spirit that rose up in men of power. Hallelujah. They are going forth throughout this earth. The men that rose up in the power of the lion. The power of the leper. Hallelujah. And God showed me, praise God, you want to live in your flesh and go to church. 
He said, this, this spirit's going to devour you. It's going to destroy you. Hallelujah. And you can't keep it from me. He spoke to me today, and I wrote it. Praise God. He said, you tell my people, hallelujah, we're in the last day, and you better know what how your heart is. You better know what lives inside of you, because if you don't, it's going to be manifested. And Brother Harvey, ain't nothing going to stop it from being manifested. You can't stop it. I can't stop it. If it's of God, it'll manifest. If it's not of God, it'll manifest. In the last day, in the closing, there's a time you're going to wake up and find yourself outside this thing. The 25th chapter of Matthew says there's 10 virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. Is that right? What makes a virgin a foolish virgin? It's not that she's not in the church. It's not that she hasn't been born again. And then you got this people coming forth saying, if you're born again, you're not going to hell even if you live hell. If you're born again, you're not going to hell. You're going to be saved no matter what you do. And they run around trying to convince sinners they saved. And sinners is fighting them saying, I am not saved. Yeah, you saved. Yeah, preachers are trying to convince sinners. He's one of them sitting in here tonight. Praise God, a preacher trying to convince him. He's a, he's a Christian. He said, don't tell me I'm a Christian. I'm not a Christian. You may call me brother, but I ain't no brother. Hallelujah. People are trying to convince people. Come to my church. Come to my church and you can... You can be recognized and lifted up and patted and pampered. Hallelujah. Come on, come to my church. Praise God. And you can do something for God. Come to my church. Brother, this old spirit, Lord of God, is chomping all over the land today, going up and down in the earth, going throughout the world, walking up and down in it. Amen. Trying to destroy everything it can. But God said, you want to live in the flesh, church? He said, I'm going. He said that bear has been commanded to devour you, to destroy you, and ain't nothing you're going to be able to do about it. Because the five foolish virgins had been right there with the wise. They heard the same message. Come on. Just like many of you have heard the same word I preach, that I live by. Many people hear it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Right there with the Spirit moving, people being saved, people being delivered. Hallelujah. How I many know what I'm talking about? Hearing the same thing going, you know, uh, no reason why. It's like one sitting there hearing the word and another sitting there poking the ones trying to listen. They go outside the church and they just say and do any old thing and cuss and lie. Praise God, they're causing trouble all the time. Hallelujah. And we're trying to tell them, look, you ain't got long, and this thing gonna come on you in an hour that you don't even know. Hallelujah. Like I said last night, Peter told him, he said, it's coming on you, you don't even know it. Hallelujah. This thing is coming on you like a flood, and you don't even see it. It's the same for us today. It's coming on us like a flood, and we don't even see it. Amen. Hallelujah. People leave the church house. They leave the word. They leave it there. They don't take it with them. John plainly said, if you hear the word and not a doer, you deceive your own self. A hearer of the word is justified, but not a hearer that don't obey it. You deceive your own self. That's what I said last night. Ain't that right? I don't want to deceive my own self. Praise God, I want to live with this thing. I want to walk it, talk it, think it, smell it, see it, hear it. Hallelujah, I want it to wake me up and lay me down. Glory to God that I could walk and talk in this great word of God. It's the greatest thing I've ever known. I don't want to say, look, hallelujah, uh, my God, here is a five foolish virgins saying to the wise, give me of your all. Hallelujah, I ain't got no all to give 